New at 6, Lexington police are giving an update nearly one month since the Safer Kentucky Act took effect. We asked the department for numbers on the Safer Kentucky Act, and the department now says 10 citations were made. Initially, Lexington police said there were six. That spans July 15th through the 18th, the first four days the law was in effect. The department says no warnings were given during that time. Officers responded to 33 calls about unlawful camping during that time. In response to the Safer Kentucky Act, the Lexington Faith community is joining forces under one unified message called Yes in God's Backyard. It could mean unhoused families who live in their car could park overnight in church parking lots without worry of being arrested. WKYT's Ben Bettos and photojournalist Darnell Crenshaw explain why advocates say they need to think outside the box to help. Jenny Ramsey is the director of the Catholic Action Center. Yes, in God's backyard means all these different things, from sanctuary parking to having property to build tiny homes to having property to build affordable housing. And the thought is to place these structures on participating church properties. Part of this is in response to the passage of House Bill 5, known as the Safer Kentucky Act. It is now illegal for someone who is displaced, has no home, can't get in a shelter to live in their car. But the solution is to use church property. Their land is different. They're sacred, they're sanctuary. On August 22nd at 7 p.m., faith leaders will meet here at Consolidated Baptist Church on Russell Cave Road to hash out the details. Pastor Richard Gaines says the lack of housing is going to be the number one issue this country is going to have to face. We cannot turn a blind eye to it any longer. And so it's right here in our backyard, in our community, and we want to address it accordingly. This is also in response to the 1,100 Fayette County students who are listed as unhoused. If the idea of sanctuary overnight parking is passed, those living in that situation could sleep in their cars in this parking lot. I also think about children who may be hungry, who may need sleep, who may need safety, who are trying to be prepared to go to school the next day. Pastor Gaines addressed that security would have to be in place for this idea to work. It comes with concerns, but if we're going to address the issue, we must be willing to face those concerns and not let them turn to paralyzing fears. And if this plan goes through, the pastor says he has no problem giving up his space. If that would help somebody, I got no problem giving up the parking spot. <laughs> in Lexington, I'm Ben Bettos, WKYT. The Yes in God's Backyard meeting will take place on August 22nd at 7 at Consolidated Baptist Church on Russell Cave Road.